Okay, good. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to start the song from the beginning. Don't worry, I'm not playing Johnny Silverhand's uh, quote, wake the fuck up, we have a city to burn, because there's too many cities burning. There are way too many cities burning. Um, but we'll play some Miami Nights. You want to know why? Because this is a good fucking track. It's hopeful. It's very... How would I put it? Very inspiring and very, like, optimistic. Like, this is like, okay, the future's right ahead of us. We can get to that glory hole. We can... Glory hole, excuse me. We can get to that... You know, Valhalla, that paradise. You know, we're on a motorcycle driving down the highway, and it's a crotch rocket too. So it's like, mm, like this song's playing. You know, with a cat, with a helicopter shot of the guy driving down the highway, and it's the beautiful, you know, West Coast, you know, excuse me, East Coast, you know, seaside, and it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. So. That being said, welcome to Morning Coffees with James. I'm going to play it in the background a little bit. There we go. Welcome to Morning Coffees with James. I'm James, and this is my morning coffee show. Why do I have a coffee show? Because fuck you, that's why. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. By the way, this show's not meant for kids. Well, you know what? That, that's the bullshit thing. Uh, kids are gonna watch shit no matter what you fucking tell them not to watch because, you know, kids are gonna rebel either way. And I love the fact that we try our best not to do that. It's like, oh, you can't watch this. This is, you know, you know, this has foul language in it and it's awful. It's awful. And it's like, we keep making it sound more cool. It's like the uh, parental guidance sticker on CDs. Sure, you put it in black and white, but it also looks like the NWA album, and it also tells kids, hey, this is the dirty version of the song. Um, but you know what? That's like my biggest issue with censorship, and, and, and another video I want to make uh, coming down the road, which is the uh, my love letter to mods, like video game mods, um, because there's a lot I want to talk about, not just because of Doom, because that's in there too, but like... Excuse me. But mods for other things too, like mods for video games, mods for this, mods for that. Mods are very important to the culture of gaming in a sense, so yeah. By the way, my uh, new video's out, uh, Dreams About My Brother Part 4. I think it's Part 4 because I talked about the two other dreams in a video style like this, but then I had to make another one that was more constructive in a sense, and that was my first time making an actual video, so... Uh, and, and again, I, there's a lot of work in that video too, which I was proud of. I was very proud of that one video I did. So yeah, um, I'm a champ on that one. But the next video of that will be out later. Not, I'm not making it right now because I have to construct it in the way to make it work because it involves other parties and such a, that stuff. So yeah. Uh, like I said before, there is a fantasy element to it, so... In the dream, in all that sense, so... So, yeah. Um... But what do I want to talk about today? I don't know. I mean, granted, I talked about the whole George Floyd thing. I talked about this. I talked about that. I don't know what to really talk about. Uh, you know what I want to talk about? Living in the set, living in the city in the suburbs. And I want to talk about why I don't like living in the city or the town, and why the. F right, well, anyway, um. Let me find this. Let me find this. Okay. Probably spelled his 
name wrong several times, but um, I want to talk about living in this kind of general area, like the suburbs and like the, the, the city, and I'm going to just say something. I really am getting tired of living in like, and I talked to my friend uh, Glenn about this, and me and Glenn are kind of on the same wavelength. I really hate living in like, jank, uh, yeah, I live in Jankatown, the same place as the Goldbergs and that other bullshit. It's the Goldbergs, just nothing but 80s references. It's like, shut the fuck up. Okay, here we go. Because, uh, there's just, like, it's just a fucking bullshit thing, you know what I mean? Like, because, like, I, you know, I've worked in the city, and the city's just a crowded, polluted, dirty jungle full of negativity and stuff like that. And, honestly, it's not one of my favorite places to be, you know what I mean? Like, there's so much, like filth and grime and dirty people and dirty minds and dirty souls and it's just not a fun place to be you know what I mean it's so I'm pulling up some uh, Robert E. Howard quotes because there's just something I have to say you know in all of this nonsensical bullshit that's going on in the world today, so I'm trying to find... Here we go. Here's the one quote I'm going to look for. Here we go. And it's about civilized men. So here we go. But it's, you know, something I've noticed about the suburbs and I've noticed about the closer we are to the city, which I think, you know, everybody loves the city. I need to tell you the truth. I don't want to live in the city. People, like, have been trying to dictate my life forever, and I, I kind of got fed up with Acme a little bit because they were telling people where to go, like, don't tell me where to fucking go, you're overpriced shop for fucking eggs and shit like that, and food, if anybody, you know, this is the problem, don't shop somewhere just for convenience, shop for somewhere where you need, you need to shop, you know what I mean, like, I was at Acme, and the motherfuckers, and I'm, I'm really sick of fucking society in general, or civilization in that sense, you know, and the quote Robert E. Howard, and I'm going to do a lot of quoting here, so... The more I see of what you call civilization, the more highly I think of what you call savagery. Like, you know, you, you want to talk about... You know, we live in a society that... that you know that quote, like, oh, we live in a society. Yeah, we do. And it's a cold, fucking miserable society, because we allow certain bullshit to go on and certain things to happen, but yet, on the other hand, and I mean this too, on the other hand, we, you know, we get pissy with everybody, you know, it's like, bullshit. You know, it's the same thing with the suburbs. Every, you, if you want to be a major league asshole, move to the city, but if you want to be an asshole, just move to the fucking suburbs, because everybody in the suburbs, you know, has nothing more than a broomstick shoved up their ass. You know, and again, I'm reading some of these quotes from uh, Robert E. Howard. Barbarism is the natural state of mankind. Civilization is unnatural. It is the whim of circumstances. And barbarism must always tr ultimately triumph. And you know what, something? It's kind of true. Like, granted, I don't want to see this civilization fall. I don't want to see the American... You know, I, again, I don't, I don't want to see my country become an empire. Like, we haven't taken over anything yet. But you know what? We need to, like, we need to get our shit together. You know, and granted, I'm going to say this, too. Like, it's just something I'm just really getting sick of. Like, I'm just sick of fucking living in the fucking city. I'm just, t like, I lived in the city. I lived in the fucking suburbs. The city is not a fun place to be. I've, I've worked in the city. The city is a fucking disgusting place. No, granted, if you're living in the city, good for you. But for me what you call civilization, you know, the more I think highly of savagery, like, you know, and, and to quote, you know, Robert E. Howard again, I am quoting him a lot, so, civilized men are more discourteous than savages because they know they can be impolite without having their skull split as a general thing. That's a true thing. I mean, you could be, in, like, you can say, well, oh, 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 if you say, you know, no, 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 I'm talking about the rules of nature and the rules of law and the rules of, which by the way, the rules of law are made up by men and 
by anything that's made by man will be broken. For example, this whole like, you know, you know the the like I got screamed at a bunch of times by this. You know, if you follow the law, the law. If you study, if you know the law, and it's like. You mean the laws they keep putting up every fucking five minutes? I know the ten fuck. I know the ten fucking commandments, but the law that they keep putting out and out and out and out and out and out. Nobody can follow those fucking rules. And by the way, this is not Babylon, where it's like, oh well, arrogance of the law is no. Yes, arrogance of the law is a very good excuse because you keep adding more fucking laws to your so-called civilization, to your to your fucking. You know, bar, you, 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 your 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 disgusting civilization. Now, granted, do I think barbarism is the way to go? No, I don't think so. I don't want to see it go that way, but it's going down that way. And the more I live in the society, the more I want to get away from it. I want to either move to I, that. You know, a lot of people like in blue states and blue cities and the blue like those areas like California and everybody on the East Coast too. It's like I want to move to fucking Montana. Just like give me the wilderness. Give me like the rugged mountain, mountain, mountain tier. You know what I mean? Give me that, give me that last frontier. Like, why don't you move to Alaska? Because it's too fucking cold. I'd rather live in somewhere where it gets warm. You know? And maybe Florida. I don't know, because it's a purple state. But Texas, Texas is too hot. I mean, I can't stand the over. Well, then again, I might, I might as well move to Texas. You know what I mean? But I'm not bringing the politics of blue states with me and that's the problem with like these people moving to california they think if i stay democrat i can you know we can change things it's like no you gotta like look at your own party and be like you know what maybe it's time i moved on from this you know what i mean maybe it's time i moved like winston churchill quoted this when in your youth you're very like very liberal and stuff like that and you're very open free and when you get older, you become more of a conservative because you're more worried about the future and stuff like that. Me, I am worried about the future, but then again, I'm like, you know, I look at these civilized men. I mean, like earlier, I was thinking, like, my friend Glenn, he has this quote. If you want to live in this townships and, like, I don't care if it's Jenkintown, Cheltenham, Abington, uh, Glenside, you know, Marowin... You know, you have to, you know, be an asshole. You really have to be an asshole. I was walking my dog the other day, and this one dude was like, and this is something I notice about people. They want to have long conversations with you, and they want to just, like, you know, simple, hey, stop that would be fine, but it's, hey, stop this, blah, 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 blah. Shut the fuck up, then. This is why people get annoyed with you. Yes, I was in, like, this guy had some, like, shit on his lawn, like that, whatever the fuck that, like, hey, you know, said, hey, hey, yeah, yeah, hey on this grass. And I was just trying to walk my dog, and I was just not minding my own business. And the guy comes over and goes, hey, buddy, I'm trying to grow grass there. And it's like, okay. And then he has to have that, like, continuously talk to me. It's like, why don't you say, hey, get your dog off there. Honestly, I just don't give a shit. I should have just grabbed it and went, fuck you. You're not allowed to have grass anymore. I don't care about your fucking property because, you know, it's not owned by you. It's owned by the government. It's owned by these fucking people. They won't give you... They, they'll take it away as quickly as they gave it to you. And all that hard work and all you built will fall apart. And trust me, I've worked in construction and I've worked in fucking... I, I volunteered as a firefighter. Whatever you built will be gone and just like that. This house, gone. You know. And this may be me sounding like a nihilist or a... Or a uh, you know... Nihilist or some kind of nonsense like that, but no, it's not that. The truth is, is that you know, you know, you, you, you're so dependent on civilization that you don't think it will fall. Well, guess what? It's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. I mean, we've seen it with the fucking, you know, this lockdown has gonna open up everybody's eyes a little bit in my mind. You know, and again, to, uh, looking at some of these quotes by Robert E. Howard, like, you know, granted, like, I got into a fight on somebody on Instagram about, you know, it, it, it's either communism or barbarism, and it's like, then I choose barbarism if you're going to give me that choice, because I would rather not deal with communism. I would not rather deal with another cult as long as I live, you know. And another one I want to read out loud. Let teachers and priests and other philosophers brood over questions of reality and illusion. I know this. If life is an illusion, then I am no less than an illusion. And, begun, and 
Being thus, the illusion is real to me. I live, I burn with life, I love, I slay, and I am content. That's, I love that quote. Because you talk about, you know, nothing matters, nothing is real. I, you know what? I live, all right? I live, I'm here, you know what I mean? Like, people talk about, like, you know, shit, like, nothing matters. This is, like, this is such an anti-quote to, like, if you really, like, again, I'll read it again. Let teachers and priests and other philosophers, and I'm paraphrasing this, brood over questions of reality and illusion. I know this. If life is an illusion, then I am no less an illusion. And being thus, the illusion is real to me. I live, I burn with life, I love, I slay, and I contempt. And yet you people want to make up rules. I mean, again, yeah, another, another fucking thing why I want to leave civilization and just start living on a farm is the fact that I went to the Acme to get eggs. Just eggs. Just Nothing else. And by the way, I walked in there, you know, and took my mask off as soon as I walked into the door. Like, what are you going to do? Kick me out? You put up these rules to protect people, but the reality is, is that that mask doesn't protect you from shit. Maybe particles, but, you know, what about the money we touch? What about the food that we eat or put in our mouths? You know, that whole, like, hold on, like, give me a... Give me a second, I got to get something. That, that, putting... The shit we do... It's like, and you talk about protection, you talk about civilization and safety, and it's like, you know, again, it, it, it's like, the more you talk about civilization, the more I, I, I'm just like, fuck that shit. And then, so I'm not the acting, okay. And I try to walk out and go it the other way, because my car, so anybody who's been to Acme, um, I'll, give you, I'll give you the thing. This is the Acme, all right, this is the Acme. This is where you exit. All right, I went in there, got the eggs, came out, and I tried going that way. No, 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 sir, you can't go that way. You gotta go this way. And I'm like, you know, follow the rules. Thank you for listening. Thank you for obeying the law. Like, fuck you. It, you know, we're outside. I, you know, fuck you. you don't, I'm so fucking tired of our civilization. It's like, oh, germs, germs, just, everything can kill you, you stupid fuck. I'm so fucking tired of your shit and your fucking cowardism. It's so... My God. It's like... I, I, I just laugh. I just laugh at these fucking people who, you know, would trade in their security for... You know, it was, excuse me. Those who would trade in their freedom for security to be safe. To be thinking that the government... Thinking that go governors and lawmen and you know, policemen and firemen and shit like that and these people that you put your trust into are going to protect you. They will not. They will not at all. They will disappoint you and they will fail you. They will just... They will... It will all fall. They will all fall. I mean, look at what happened with fucking George, you know, Floyd. I don't care if it's a, a false flag or not. But we've also seen other sh incidents, incidences of police brutality. And on the other end, too, we've also seen how savage men can get. With rioting and looting and stuff like that. They don't care what happened to George Floyd. As soon as anarchy hit, they didn't give a fuck. And don't scream at me, too. I will fucking drop you. You people and you live in your civilization, and you say you're sorry, but they don't want to hear it, well, fuck you, then. I'm not sorry. Fuck you. I'm glad I did what I did. Fuck you. You will not accept an apology? Then fine. I will throw you against the fucking wall. Next time, I'll fucking just break shit of yours. I have nothing else in my life. It sounds like I'm angry, I am. I am. You know, but whatever... Fi I'm gonna read another quote. But whatever my failure I have, this thing to remember, that I was a pioneer in my profession, just as my grandfather were in theirs. In that, I was the first man in this se section to earn his living as a writer. I wish I could be a good writer. 
I'm an okay writer, but honestly, I know some pretty good writers. Claudia's one good writer. I know some great artists, too. I know some great artists. Lindsay, good. Lindsay. I know some smart people. Seth, I'm just pointing out some of the friends I know. I can show you, I can show you some of the people in my life. I'm going to go on. I'm going to go two minutes long. But I look at this shit, and I'm just like, you know, people want to be angry. People just want to be mean and angry, and they want to be, you know, because their life has not gone right for them. Because their life has gone absolutely fucking terrible for them. And the truth is, it's that I, I really am just so fucking done with civilization. And I've talked to my friend about this too, my friend Glenn, and he's like, he's moving to New Jersey, you know, live out his life. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna move to, you know what I'm gonna move to? I'm gonna move to fucking Montana, because you know what, fuck that shit. I'm tired of living in a civilization that, you know, and I granted, the cities are not bad places in my mind. The cities are not evil places because when I when our truck got hit by the food truck there was seven there was several people out there filming that you want to know why because Philadelphia and the good people of Philadelphia have dealt with stupid fucking you know evil greedy bastards out there they have dealt with the fuck the savages of that city and before you say anything what do you mean by savages I'm pe talking about the people who have been contempt to live in that city and have no other means of fucking moving out or they could not survive anywhere else if they tried I'm, I've, I've lived in I lived in Vermont and I'll tell you this much there's some people out there who can't handle it okay why not but anyway it's it just frustrates me and, and I'm just so done with it you know what I mean it's like it's, again, that Joker quote is so on key with, like, what is going on in our world today. Like, we do live in a civilization. We live in a civilization that is just toxic. Very toxic. You know... I got yelled at for a bunch of shit. You know what? People, people just want to stay angry and just scream and shout, thinking that their life, their voices matter, but they don't. You know, people, people want to make more rules, and it's like, you know, eventually people are not going to give a fuck about your rules, and they're going to swing, they're going to become uncivilized. You know, when people, when they talked about these riots happening, and I was thinking about this. I don't care if there was black people or white people. We have savages in our lands. We do. They're black, they're white, they're Asian, they're Latino. They're people who are angry and they want free shit. They've been fucked over by the so-called system that you're willing to protect. And if it sounds like I'm being a racist, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not pointing at any race or anything like that. If it sounds like I am, I'm trying not to. It's just I'm frustrated with this whole civilization. I'm gonna, you know, and again, it's these people, you know, another, you know, the re another reason why I'm frustrated is the fact that I, you know, when, because I'm the only one who takes care of the fuck. Well, excuse me, I shouldn't say take care, because I'm the only one who actually acknowledges the fucking dog. My mom is absolutely a lazy tyrant, and my dad, you know, hardworking man, hardworking blue collar man. But then again, with most blue collar work, hardworking men, they refuse, and I mean this too, they refuse to stand up and speak out against the system. Or their wives, which by the way, that happy life, happy wife shit is bullshit. If your wife is a fucking absolute tyrant like my mom is, then you gotta stand up for that. And I know people are like, well, that's too much information. Well, you know what? It, it, this is why I don't like fucking tyrants or totalitarian. Tortar I can't even pronounce that fucking word. But it's another reason why I don't like civilization. Because you have too many of these tyrants running around thinking they can control people. Mediocre people with mediocre power. 
you know, and they have no fear of a man swinging an axe in their head because they, they, they're trying to, dom like, again, I'm sounding like Alex Jones, but it's like, they're trying to domesticate us, people. They're trying to make us into, like, the hump, like, the good little boys and girls, and we won't go werewolf on their ass. Well, you know, it's something... <gasps> Also, I want to talk about a, uh, before I end this video, I want to, uh, my next video for Morning Coffees with James will talk about a very sensitive topic here, so if you want to see what I'm talking about, go ahead, come, we'll talk, we'll discuss things. I think I've talked long enough as it is, so I'll see you guys in the next video, take care, love you, and bye-bye, and... Rise. Rise up. You're a human being, goddammit. You're not a programmable machine. Uprise. Now.